We discovered, for example, items in a remote closet that had been in our food storage for decades. Frankly, we were afraid to open and inspect some of the containers for fear of unleashing another global pandemic. But you should be happy to know that we properly disposed of the hazardous materials and that health risk to the world was eliminated. I confess talk of exquisite pain caught my attention partly due to my battle that week with a seven millimeter kidney stone. Never has one man experienced such great things when such a small and simple thing was brought to pass. <laughs> this virus did not catch Heavenly Father by surprise. He did not have to muster additional battalions of angels, call emergency meetings, or divert resources from the World Creation Division to handle an unexpected need. I recently heard a woman of deep testimony admit that the pandemic combined with an earthquake in the Salt Lake Valley had helped her realize she was not as prepared as she thought she was. When I asked whether she was referring to her food storage or her testimony, she smiled and said, yes. <laughs> that the same Elijah who in an instant called down fire from heaven to bear witness against the priests of Baal is the same Elijah who endured a period when there was no rain for years and who for a time was fed only by the skimpy sustenance that could be carried in a raven's claw. By my estimation, that can't have been anything we would call a happy meal. <laughs> One month after these angels introduced me to the gospel, I was baptized. I was 16 years old. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of that sacred event, but I do have a picture of my sister and me at the time we participated in that activity. I may need to clarify who is who in this picture. <laughs> I am the taller one on the right. In her last 10 years of life, she required multiple operations, but through it all, she proved faithful to the Lord. The only picture on her bedroom wall was of the Savior. Her last words to me and her deathbed were these. Hal, you sound as if you are getting a cold. Why don't you take care of yourself? We are so tired of this contagion that we feel like tearing our hair out. Uh, and apparently some of my brethren have already begun that course of action. 